10 Places It's Not a Good Idea to Keep Your Phone Today, it's difficult, if not impossible, to find a person without a phone. We're attached to them like a leech and keep them in our hands at all times. We take them with us everywhere, even in the shower and in bed. However, keeping your phone in some places can be really dangerous for your device and, even worse, for your health. Brightside has created a list of 10 places where you shouldn't keep your phone. Number 10. In your back pocket. It's definitely way more comfortable to carry your phone in the back pocket of your pants, but it can also be really dangerous. First of all, it's too easy to break the phone's screen because many people forget about having it in their back pocket and end up sitting on their own phone. This could be pretty costly since most phones today have really expensive screens. For example, if you break the screen on an iPhone 10, it'll cost you about 60% of the price of the whole phone just to replace the screen. Another problem with keeping your phone in your back pocket is that it's so easy to steal. It doesn't even take the most experienced or smoothest pickpocket to steal something from your back pocket. It's like taking candy from a baby. Also, because most phones nowadays have touch screens, there's a chance that you could accidentally dial an emergency number and not even realize it. Did you know that 30% of all calls to 911 are accidental? And the last problem is the fact that sitting on your device can cause pain in your back, legs, and stomach. So how about skipping on keeping your phone in your back pocket? Number 9. In your front pocket. Nope, don't keep it in the front pocket either. This is especially for the gentlemen out there. Since most guys don't carry bags, they often put their phones in the front pocket of their pants or jeans. But doing this can have a really negative effect on men's health. I bet we've got your attention now. A recent study from the University of Exeter has proven that the electromagnetic radiation emitted by phones adversely affects the quality and quantity of sperm. The longer a man keeps his phone in his pants, the higher the risk. So, no matter how important your cell phone is to you, you should think twice before putting it in your front pocket. Number 8. In your bra. The ladies aren't safe either, so listen up. Even though there's still no consensus about whether or not cell phone radiation causes cancer, we recommend keeping your phone away from your breasts, just in case. Number 7. On your hip. According to research at Turkey's Soleyman Demirel University, carrying your phone near your hips actually weakens the hip bones. The scientists measured the bone density of 150 men who carried their phones on their hips regularly. Their bone mineral density was slightly lower on the side where they kept their phones than on the other side. It's still not quite clear if this difference is because of the phones, but it's the most probable reason. Number 6. Against your skin. Don't hold your cell phone against your skin because when you do this, bacteria from the screen that you touch with your hands, which touch the world around you, get right on your face. And FYI, it's believed that the touch screens on our phones are dirtier than public toilets. Hey, sorry for the gross fact, but someone's got to be the bearer of bad news. Besides, the electromagnetic radiation gets even closer to you, which can't be good. So you're probably wondering how you can talk on the phone without all that nasty stuff. Make sure you leave around half an inch between your device and your face. Number 5. On the charger. No, charging the phone doesn't harm your health, unless you're too close to the phone and it's electromagnetic radiation. But it's better not to leave your cell phone charging overnight. This can shorten the life of the phone's battery and reduce the battery's efficiency. By the way, you can watch our video about 15 mistakes that shorten the life of your phone. We're sure you'll find it useful. Number 4. In cold places. If it's cold outside and the temperature drops below zero, you should take special care of your phone. Don't leave it on the street or in the car for a long time. Such a difference in temperature is bad for gadgets because when you bring your device into a warm place, condensation forms. And this can lead to problems with the internal bits of the phone. Another problem is that your phone can simply turn off in cold weather. 
The latest phones today have a special feature in their operating systems that, in order to protect the battery, automatically turn the phone off. The best thing you can do for your phone is buy a special insulated phone case or avoid exposing it to vastly differing temperatures. Number 3. In hot places. Your high-tech devices are more vulnerable than you think. They can't stand high temperatures either. On really hot days, we don't recommend leaving your phone in the car or on the beach because the battery may overheat and even explode. Also, don't keep your phone on the windowsill because direct sunlight can make your super expensive screen dull. And how are you supposed to check out the newest car memes with a screen you can barely see? Think about that. Number 2. In the stroller. Sometimes moms in a hurry throw their cell phones in their baby strollers without a second thought. But maybe they should think twice, because research published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health suggests that it could be unsafe for children. The study claims that cell phones can cause behavioral problems like hyperactivity and attention deficit disorder. Again, there's no direct evidence yet, but do you really want to take the risk? Number 1 under your pillow. There are several good reasons not to keep your phone under your pillow. The first one is that even at night, you probably get some notifications that light up your screen. The more light there is at night, the less melatonin your body produces. If you didn't know, melatonin is your body's sleep hormone and helps your brain switch off at night. So you can probably guess that a low level of melatonin leads to problems with sleep which eventually leads to other serious health and social issues. Another reason is that over long periods of time, electromagnetic radiation can cause headaches and dizziness. If your phone is right under your pillow at night, well, that's just easy access to your head. And last but not least, there have been cases of phone explosions and fires. And when you cover your phone with a pillow, you increase the chances of this. A phone gives off heat when charging, and the heat can't escape from under the fabric of a pillow. It's better to charge your device away from yourself, your bed, and other people. Besides, what's so important on your phone that you need to keep it under your pillow while you're sleeping? Can't it wait till morning? Do you know any other places where it's not okay to keep a phone? Tell us in the comment section below. And now, here's our bonus how to use your phone without damaging your posture. Poor posture is becoming the scourge of the early 21st century. A person who is constantly in a hunched over position can seriously damage their spine. Because of our constant use of smartphones and other handheld gadgets, many people can spend as much as four hours a day in an unnatural and damaging position. Research has shown that a person's posture can influence their emotional outlook. An individual suffering from clinical depression often assumes a pose that has been dubbed the eye hunch. In the past, it was predominantly the elderly who sought medical help for back problems. But now, doctors are witnessing this particular problem grow younger. Main features of the eye hunch. A stretched out neck, sunken shoulders, arms drawn into the torso. Assuming the correct posture all the time can lead to an increase in productivity at work and a higher resistance to stress. You should look at your device by lowering your eyes rather than bending your neck. It's better to lift up the screen. Also, follow five simple rules that reduce the risk of back problems. 1. Periodically move your head from side to side slowly, stretching your muscles. 2. Massage your shoulders, the side muscles in your neck, and the area between your shoulder blades. 3. Stand in a doorway, stretch out your arms, and bend your thorax. This will help relax the muscles that become fixed in one position for a long time when using a smartphone. 4. If you use your phone for more than 10 minutes, press your chin to your neck and squeeze together your shoulder blades. Repeat this exercise several times, holding the position for 10 seconds. 5. Every time you use a smartphone, remember that the correct posture can help you avoid many health problems in the future. Like this video and send it to your friends to keep them and their phones safe. And of course, click the subscribe button to join us on the bright side of life.